This is an introduction to the conserve epoxy system used on timber repair. We'll show you some mixing techniques. The ice being put in a bucket is to prolong the pot life. We're going to first mix the epoxy number 100 consolidant, the resin comes in a can which gets set onto the ice, and the curing agent bottle gets poured into the resin and mixed for three to five minutes. Then it's ready to be poured into another vessel and brushed onto the surface to saturate the fibers. Multiple coats can be applied as needed. The left corner shows you a little bit of dry already where it's been applied. You could apply another coat to that. We're making sure we have plenty of consolidant. End grain will tend to absorb more of the consolidant, so we want to make sure it's fully wetted. A fiberglass rebar has been preset in this portion of the timber, epoxied into place in the holes. We're now going to mix the number 200 epoxy patch, a four component product. The curing agent is being poured into the resin. mixed for three to five minutes. Then we'll use the filler, pouring in a little bit at a time. We want to make sure the filler is fully wetted. At that point, the D ingredient, the thickening agent, can be applied. This will control the consistency. So you want to use a little at a time and test to see just how thick you would like the product for a given application. We're testing the consistency here. We're mixing it a little bit thin, so we haven't used too much thickener. This is because we want to make sure we have a lot of resin in the joint that we're using it on. We're applying it right on top of the number 100 consolidant, preparing the joint to be put together. The skilled workers are now raising the heavy timber up, getting it into position. The weight of these heavy timbers 
will be enough to press out the excess of epoxy patch, which will be cleaned off. And the bottom portion of the timber, which has been oversized, will be sized down after it's fully cured. This is a custom joint designed for this specific application. And it's good practice to have structural connections reviewed by a structural engineer.